Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you a really useful feature of Sony Vegas and Sony Movie Studio. And this is called the uh, Auto Ripple. And I'll show you what I mean. Here on the timeline, I have a project that I've completed. And it's an hour-long DVD. And if, you scroll th if I scroll through the timeline, you can see that there's lots of cuts, lots of edits, lots of inserts all the way through this DVD. Now, if I get through this DVD, and while I'm reviewing it to see what it looks like, I discover that right here... I want to add another couple of seconds of video. What it might mean is I'd have to go through and re-edit uh, re my entire production, move all the graphics, line things back up so that they work well. But there's an easy way to do it, and that's by going up to the little button right here, and you'll see that it says Auto Ripple. And by using the drop-down, I can select Auto Ripple to affected tracks, affected tracks, bus, markers, and regions, and all tracks, markers, and regions. And what Auto Ripple does, if I to turn it on, you just click on it. What it means is that if I make any change right here or anywhere on my timeline, everything to the right of it and all the tracks will be automatically adjusted. So if I should move this over, you notice that everything else moves over with it. Everything over to the right of it will move. If I move it back, everything also moves with it. So if I move the audio up here, everything moves, which is really nice. So let's say that I need to do an insert of a video clip. What I can do is I can move that clip right there and you notice it moved everything over automatically and this will ripple all these changes through the rest of my track so I don't have to worry about going back and lining up all these clips once I've done the the auto ripple. It's real easy to do. Now like I said you can set it to auto ripple just the video track or just the audio track and because I use markers in my video which is my DVD menu I always set it to auto ripple everything. Now the one thing about Auto Ripple you want to remember is that when you don't need it, turn it off. Otherwise you'll be doing Auto Ripple and you may not want to change everything to the right of what you're changing just because you're doing that Auto Ripple. So this is a real easy effect in Sony Vegas and Sony Movie Studio. It's called Auto Ripple and you turn it on or off just by clicking that right there. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.